In theory, children caught up in conflict benefit from special provisions in international law that recognize their vulnerability and needs. In practice, they're the first to be harmed and bear lasting scars. Moath is among a particular group of children now stuck in northeastern Syria. They are what is left of one of the most brutal terrorist organizations the world has ever seen. Victims and heirs of the so-called Islamic State. It's not their fault that they were born uh, within the families associated with Daesh. It's not their fault that they were born in, in, a, in a city that is controlled with ISIS. And they are only victims. An estimated 40,000 children are currently stuck in camps in northeastern Syria. Over 8,000 of them are foreigners, including Ilham's two sons, who could claim both Dutch and Belgian passports, but are instead at risk of becoming stateless. When I see them, it's so painful. It's normal for them. They don't know better than this. Ilham who asked not to show her face, says she knows her two sons are here because of a decision she made, but believes it's unfair that they pay for her mistakes. Do you regret having joined ISIS? Do you regret leaving? Yeah, what I say, 90 years old and the choice was not good, because now how we end up, it was so easy to come inside and to go outside is so difficult. Is there a message you would like to send to Europe? I don't have a message, but I want to say something. There are so many children. These children, they're going to grow up. Then they will ask why we are still in Syria, why nobody help us from this situation. For now, what the children cannot answer is what exactly they went through, how much they have seen or were forced to do. The only thing clear for everyone to see is that they are still at risk. They are at risk of abuse, they are at risk of uh, exploitation. There is a lot of risks like harassment, sexual exploitation. It could be uh, child labor. Uh, uh, there, is, there is a lot of risks. The UN has called on foreign governments to repatriate all children under the age of 18 from northeastern Syria and for the development of specialized child protection programs to ensure their full reintegration into society. But for now, governments have shown reluctance in taking them back. And while authorities ponder, families endure the wait. <laughs> Pascal's daughter left for Syria with her three children four years ago. She's now thought to be stuck in one of the camps in the northeast of the country. On ne peut pas punir et sacrifier ces femmes et enfants. Il faut qu'ils aient un jugement dans la dignité, un procès équitable. And while that doesn't happen. Pascal, like other family members of the children of ISIS, wait for a chance to get them out. A problem these families think governments have yet to face and fix.